Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's continue our Jenkins journey. So part of our last video, so we set up Kubernetes environment as slave and we added this token. So we'll for this video, what we'll do, we'll try to create a, some dummy job. Let's see our setup is working fine. And we'll add a few more settings. If you take a look on our Jenkins, currently we are not doing any login. So we'll enable some basic authentication mechanism so that uh, we'll be able to log in into the Jenkins. And then we'll put uh, some customized message display. And another one, so usually this is used to show as a master node, but now currently it is showing as an inbuilt node, built-in node. So if I go here, so the number of executor it is showing two. It means that the jobs can run on the Jenkins master. It can run up to concurrent two jobs, but as a best practice, we want to run all our jobs in inside the Kubernetes part. So we have to make it this one to zero. So we'll do this settings. For this one, first we we'll tear down this. So, we tear down. If I go to Jenkins configuration as a code, under that, if I go to demos, if I go Jenkins, you can see. This is how we have to put a custom message. So if it is a multi-line, we have to put something like this. If it is a single line, we can put something like this. So copy this one. So I will say, welcome to GTS. channel. Open Jenkins videos. So here the number of executors we want to set zero. So let's copy here, make it zero. And another one we have to do basic authentication. For that, if you go Jenkins Global Matrix Auth, so this is how we're supposed to do the for the authorization. Um, so I already have this sample, so let me refer that. Okay, so here, okay, here if you see. Uh, I creating one user called admin, I am setting password as admin and then I am doing some basic authorization. So copy this, this things. and paste here, ok. We will bring up our Jenkins now. we can see all the permissions are set here so it's fully up and running so let's try to access now so currently there is no login is enabled let's reload so you can see now the login button is enabled so login into Jenkins and our message also is displaying now and we did one more change so now the executor should be 0, if I go here in build node configure, so executor is 0. So all our setting is working fine. 
So now we will create a some dummy job, let us see how it is working. Let us create a test job, it is a pipeline job, ok. So here, so this is a plugin site, so if you go to under Kubernetes, um, they have n number of uh, examples here. Uh, so we have uh, two types of pipeline, one is the declarative pipeline and another one is the scripted pipeline. Just for a beginning stage, it is better to start with the declarative pipeline and this is the pod template uh, example. So, how we are going to run our job inside the pod. Um, for this one also, you can use YAML format or in a JSON format, but better to go with the YAML format so that uh, it is easy to view and edit. So, let me copy this, this sample job. go here, go and paste here. Okay. So, now build this job. So, one main advantage using the pod template concept. So, we can have multiple images in each image or each container we can do some particular action. So, our job is got success now. So, if you see we are using two images now, one is the maven image under that we are doing some action and we are using another image busy box that is the main advantage. So, we can have n number of images in each image we can do some particular task or a relevant task. Okay. So, part of this video we are done. So, let us catch up in next video. Thanks for watching.